Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Mad Tea Party. We hope you're ready to spill the tea. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new to our channel, my name is Derek. And my name is Ryan. And today we've got some mail that is a nice little mix-up of trades and purchases. Mm. What we love the most. What we love the most. Um, Why don't you start us off? I have a trade here. This is with Disney Crazy Family. You should check them out Ooh. down below. Um, we've traded with them before. They are the best. Um, they have really sick pin game, which you will see in an upcoming yeah. video like later this week. That's all I'm going to say. Um, all right. Ooh, I guess I'll all grab right. some stickers. Oh, let me read this while he takes that in. Thanks for another wonderful trade, friends. Enjoy your new pins. Have a great week. You guys, too. All right, we've got Lucifer here, and we've got a really super cute Vanellope with Pocahontas blowing her hair with an extreme <laughs> blowout, but from Wreck-It Ralph Breaks the Internet, one of the best scenes. I love that sticker, it's so cute. Um, she also sent along this adorable, adorable. We got our boy Dope here. This is that moment where he takes his hat off and Snow White kisses him on the head. Someday when I dress up as him um, at one of the Halloween things at Disney, I'm going to just wear the lipstick on my head. I'm going to put on lipstick and kiss my forehead. That's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. So, Disney Crazy Family traded with us. Oh, yeah. This is a A complete. I know. Yes, yes, yes. We have been venturing to complete this set for a very long time. I don't time. know why it's taken this long. Well, because they're very hard to trade, first off, um, because unless you're collecting the whole thing, nobody wanted these. And we also, like, they're on sale for so much off, but it was like we stopped buying the boxes. Well, we kept opening them and not getting them. Yeah. Needed. But today we have the final one that we need. And that one is Belle. Um, it's amazing that this was the last one we had because it is the most boring of the whole set. It's the one that doesn't really have anything except, like, the buttresses. I don't know that that's the real word of what's happening there, but... Oh, it's like the little... It's the swoops. It's the, the um... Scissor architecture. But <laughs> it's not a buttress. It's more like a, um... What do you call those things? A drape. It's like a little drape. I like buttresses. Now then, if I may draw your attention to the flying buttresses. All right, the other pin, I actually think I remember now what this was. Yes, okay, I I like this so much. Okay, so I have seen this pin around before and never ran after it because it didn't seem as detailed on in pictures than it as it does in person. All right, we do have Madame Mim here. She is a little bit unrecognizable because this is when she is cleaning up her house and Wart has just flown in as a bird and she's like, ooh, I could be so cute like this. So thank you, Disney Crazy Family. Yes, thank you so much. We appreciate it. And like Ryan said, keep an eye out a little later this week. You might see more from them. We might be part of a box swap. I don't know. Who knows? All right, this next one is from Britta, and Britta was on Facebook. Thank you so much for your trade. And we have, it's so funny, I had never seen this one before, and then afterwards I saw it again, like, on someone else's board after the fact. So here is a really cool Jafar pen. Here we have the man himself, Jafar, and... It's kind of funny. The snakes look like like little smiles. <laughs> <laughs> he is who he is, and we love him anyway. And this is... The reason I probably haven't seen it is because it's from 2005. It is an older pin, and it's awesome. Thank you so much for the trade. Wow, well, yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. All right, so next up, I actually have a purchase that I've been waiting to get here. If you cannot tell from the packaging... It is from Pink a la Mode. Um, most every package they send comes in this really cool um, cherry. Yeah, well, not necessarily cherry. They're always just different. Like, I've gotten pink ones with stars, I think. Um, the mystery bag, though, because it was bigger, was it a regular one? And that was, like, kind of sad. Because <laughs> I'm used to this from them. But 
Anyways, uh, this is one I have been so excited to open up because I've been excited to get it on my board. All right, so this one here is part of the stained glass princess collection. That um, this is actually part of the second wave. The first wave has been out for a little while, and she's a beaut. Yeah, she's so pretty. I have Pocahontas from the first wave, and now I have Aurora. Um, they also just recently released uh, the Prince stained glass pin, so may have one or some of those on the way. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that second series came out quicker than this series. Definitely. It was like they released the princes and then like five days later, the new wave of princes came. Yeah, because I, I think when I got Pocahontas from the first wave of this one, I think I even got her on sale because they had been out for so long before yeah. this even came out. But she just looks so different off of the black backer. She's so pretty. Um, it's going to be so beautiful on my board. This next one, I'm actually, there are two and I'm going to do them together. Um, this one was kind of funny, actually. So you probably remember me talking about when I opened the Disney Studio Store Hollywood Searcher Clade um, pin from Strange World, the father, that I said I'd won him on eBay for $9.99 and no one else bid. And at the same time, I happened to bid on another pin thinking no one is like, I'm not gonna get this. Like it will go past the 9.99. Um, so I traded, I made a really good trade. And that trade is, comes with a card. If you don't mind reading this card. <coughs> oh, a sticker. And it's a cute sticker. So first up, we have this adorable Baymax sticker. Um, we also have this adorable card that says follow me on Instagram with her Instagram handle there. So like, check her out, Wendy Pins World. Um, we need to go follow her too. Yeah, we will. It just says thank you for the trade, love Wendy. All right, so I never thought when I saw these come out that I was going to be able to get any of them, let alone um, the amount that I have now Almost gotten, all. which is, all but one, and we will just save that for, for another day, because today we have Ethan. Here is a gorgeous pin from Disney Studios or Hollywood, Strange World. This is Ethan Clade, the son um, in the movie. And this was, I thought, one of the best trades I made. Those purple backgrounds. I know, they all have these gorgeous purple backgrounds. And then, like two days later, I won an eBay um, thing, an auction, <laughs> and there he was again. <laughs> it's Ethan. There he is. You probably, um, if you follow us on Instagram, you probably already saw him. He has been in our traders um, this past weekend when we did our crazy um just trade a palooza is what I'm now calling it. But if you are interested, I do have two. All right, so we have here another trade. It is coming from Panama. Uh, thank you, Gracias, for the amazing trade. We will treasure Mary. Much love and pixie dust from Panama. Sincerely, Jenny and Pat. Yes, they got a, a beautiful Mary Poppins pin um, that we traded for several pins of theirs. And I'm super excited to open this up. There are two for me and two for Ryan. Oh, that's exciting. I'm excited now too. Oh, that's cute. I actually forgot about this one. It is uh, Aurora here with the Disneyland D. She's beautiful. So is that beautiful D. Um, this is a hidden Mickey pin. I don't always love hidden Mickey pins, but I really do like this one. I feel like we started um, collecting pins as they were the most um, duplicated and made into scrappers. And so, it was also at the height of COVID, so they weren't really releasing new ones. Yeah, they weren't releasing new ones. We just kept seeing fake ones, mm -hmm. and they're really bad fake ones. Like, the scrappers of the Hidden Mickeys are terrible. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to see that there are some new Hidden Mickeys being released in the yeah. parks. Oh, I am excited for that. Yeah, yeah, I am excited. All right, next up, she's in my hand, and oh my god, she's glittery. So some of you may remember I started the All-Star Cards, um, which is a limited edition series from, 
I don't know how long ago, but not this year or last year. It was a couple years ago, I would say. But here is Sweet Vanellope, and they're all they're all sports. Your favorite thing. But there's some really good ones. Thank this one is racing. Look at her. Her whole car is sparkly along with the blue under racing. Love her. It even has your signature on it. Sweet Vanellope. Sweet Vanellope. Um, here's another one for you. Oh, I forgot about this one too. So here we have this sweet and adorable Prince Philip and Aurora pin. Um, I actually have no idea what this is from. It kind of looks like it might be from like a booster pack or, a, oh, maybe it's from a mystery, an old mystery pack from the parks. Um, it's definitely from the parks um, and it's really pretty. She's wearing her blue dress, which I adore. It's going to go great on my Sleeping Beauty board, which I have not shown. Ooh, um, maybe after this last pin, you should show it off. I should. Stay tuned. Um, the final pin that we traded with Jennifer was another All Stars pin, and this is Casey Jones playing baseball. Look at him; he looks like a slugger to me, cause I I like sports, and this is the most sporty of them all. I think that um, this is definitely the most sporty one of them all, cause I mean, you get things like Hercules playing discus. Or you get um, Scrooge McDuck swimming in his coins. This one is from Casey Jones um, playing baseball, and he actually played baseball in that cartoon. So that one fits. I kind of like baseball. Um, I know. Baseball's fine. If I kind of pick a sport, I would pick baseball. I would not. I grew up watching too much of it because my brother played for a very long time, so I had to go to a lot of those games. and I, I, I played, too, for a whole year, and I was really horrible. I played t-ball for a year and I was kicked off the team even though my dad was the coach. How embarrassing. How embarrassing. Now, before we show off Ryan's amazing new board, there is one other thing that came in the mail that is not a pin that you have to show off. Oh. So, this item I actually purchased from eBay. It is an item that I discovered when it was in on its original website years ago, and I remember looking at it, and at the time, I didn't really wear hats. Life's changed a lot, now I wear hats all the time. Um, so, um, this hat I actually sought out when I remembered, like, oh, I wish I had that hat that I used to always look at and think, if I just wore hats, I would buy that, um, because it is this. It is a Mad Hatter baseball style cap. I am obsessed with it because the lining is orange. So it looks just like the Mad Hatter's outfit in the parks. Um, this I, is from Who's It's and What's It's. If you are not, familiar. I just love that it's very plain yeah. almost, except for the ten uh, ten sixths um, card and the inside with that hidden orange. Mm -hmm. It's very. Um, this is a really cool design because if you know what the Mad Hatter's hat looks like, you know exactly what this is. If you are not familiar really with what to expect on the Mad Hatter, you just think I'm wearing a hat with numbers on it. And that's really cool to me. They actually have a lot of stuff like that that's like subtly Disney. Um, who's it's and what's it's dot, who's it's what's it's dot com. It's right there if you want to go check it out. Um, this hat isn't on there now because it's very old. It's gone. Uh, they have other stuff. Cool stuff. Okay, time for a big reveal. Yeah, if you follow us on Instagram or if you watch any of our short videos, you probably have already seen this, but um, it still isn't the same as seeing it like this. Um, all right, so this pin board is a labor of love from over my spring break. Um, I decided one day, I woke up one day and decided to go to Walmart with a plan to paint a pin board for my Sleeping Beauty collection. And I actually pivoted very, very hard because when I went, I went with the intention of finding some blue paints and some pink paints and making it a make it blue, make it pink thing. And then when I was there and I was walking in the aisles, I saw these gemstones and changed my mind completely. So here is my Sleeping Beauty board. It is intended to uh, resemble the uh, book from the beginning of the movie. Um, kind of like that. That's a good representation. Or um, I have a bag like it. Um, I just really, really, uh, it's so gaudy. Um, it's 
in my mind, very recognizable, but also not too on the nose. So um, yeah, it's just enough. Like if you know the gold and the and the uh, the gems, you know it. I actually took my old the board I was using already, and I painted um, the frame gold. Uh, and then as after I painted the frame gold, I kind of realized I wanted this to also be gold. Um, so I painted over the cork board with gold paint. I used um, acrylic paint, which at first I was worried about, and the hot glue gun kind of messed up at first. Um, so I had to turn the hot glue gun down. But um, the acrylic paint on this cork board, I was a little worried about, but it actually, like, um, the pins fit in there very securely. Um, and of course, this collection is gorgeous. So, yay me! This board rules. I would say over the summer, expect to see some new board stuff. Yeah, this is, it was a lot of fun actually. Yeah, I, I wanted to do more. We have been working a lot behind the camera mm -hmm. um, on some reorganization, some upgrades. Um, if and you if didn't notice the lighting. If there. you can't already tell, and we finally got some of our lighting up that we got for Christmas. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching. If you happen to be curious about our content, make sure to click the subscribe button down below. Or off with your head. And if you enjoyed the video today, we would appreciate a thumbs up. Yeah, hit that like button down there and leave us a comment down below. Let us know which of these items that we got in the mail today is your favorite. Do you like my new Mad Hatter hat? Um, are you really into that board that I made? Alert, alert, alert. This just in. So as we were wrapping things up, we discovered it's, you know, I think it is me always forgetting to find something inside of a bag or a box, but I'm pretty sure that this fell out of, it had to have fallen out of one of the bags. Yeah, it was on the floor. And I think it is a zap as well, because I don't remember at least through, Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. I was about this, to say, if you don't know what this is, this is the most beautiful pin I've ever seen. This was also a trade I made with Disney Crazy Family. Ah, I it has been solved. Thank goodness. We found it on the floor and we were like, what, oh, what did this Oh my of? gosh. Okay, so I, we love each other's um, collections, but you know, you don't always have strong ties to all of them. Dopey's super cute, but he's not my favorite collection, but this is one of my favorite pins I've ever seen of your Dopey collection. It's pretty. I've actually been looking at this one for a long time, thinking about trading it since we started yeah. collecting. Yeah. I've never done it, but I did it today. Disney crazy family, you have made so many dreams come true. <laughs> all right, so here we have Dopey in all of his glory, but up top. You have this like purple glitter section that has all of the dwarves across it. And it is all seven of them because there's Dopey at the end. That is the coolest little hot air balloon. I'm assuming, and you know what they say about assuming, that this came from a hot air balloon series. Yeah, it was a hot air balloon mystery. I was about to say there was, what, was he the, was he the chase? So if anyone knows anything about, I know we could look it up, but that's why we have you. <laughs> Comment down below about this series. And also, Disney Crazy Family, thank you. I, I mean, here, hold on. You can say thank you. Thank you. Seriously, it's so cute. It is beautiful. I'm glad I finally did it. I always look at them like, do I need it? Do I yes. Need it? I haven't needed it. I just yes. didn't know I needed it. And with that, we hope that you have a golden afternoon. Bye, guys. Bye. See you later. If you don't care for tea, you could at least make polite conversation. <laughs>